100 year life, clearly some of the stories I've heard today will make you nervous, and some what we just heard will give you hope. Um, but it seems to me we're going to need a lot of help, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a toolkit to make that possible. We live in an age of instant information, all the memes you can possibly fill your day with, all the free advice, all the business gurus, you name it. So why do we fail? Why aren't we all sitting on a beach somewhere in the Bahamas with multi million dollars in their bank? Well, I propose to you is because a big element is missing, namely the people element and the local ecosystem to bring these ideas to life. I'm not big on these guys, you might get. Now, I'm reliably informed, in Soviet times, um, you're living in a totalitarian state, who could you trust, KGB, who was informer, who was not? Um, one way to find out who you could deal with was form little circles of trust, and then to a Russian fashion you did over three days of drinking. <laughs> Clearly, these people are not going to live to 100. <laughs> <laughs> My point being is that it's natural for human nature to find a tribe, find a tribe that nourishes you, sustains you, reinforces your worldview. However, as our times, at least in the last six months, have shown, the pace of change has picked up and our world can turn over on a dime and all those certainties out the window. So clearly we need to stay for broader the trends. Our society is clearly atomised. Uh, and I don't mean that in a way that we live different professional lives. Each one of you have a different professional culture, a professional language, that often, increasingly, it's hard to bridge. So here's another idea I'll come with you. Who do we admire? We admire people like this. People who give to their society, who sacrifice something, who volunteer. Who do we despise? Generally, the people in it for themselves. The selfish people of the world. So the challenge is this, though. How do we build a bridge of understanding to the other? How do we reach beyond our tribe? How do we find, understand, in an atomized society, all these professional worlds, all these different professional cultures, even different mindsets. We are now, of course, in a world of fake news. We need to understand that. We could retreat in our bubble, but we need to engage if we're going to survive. So what I'm proposing to you is an ecosystem. Forget about networking as a concept. Think of your professional world as an ecosystem. I was in America uh, not long ago, travelling through New Mexico, where all this was going down. Now, happily, we don't have that moment here. But for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. Um, what was happening in democracy, that all the things they took for granted, now suddenly energise both the media, the professional class, people on the street. And I would see people uh, volunteering to get people to electoral booths or videoing Trump supporters so they weren't going to be, you know, hassled and important to the FBI, etc., etc. I remember seeing this sign on the way through the back lots of New Mexico, a tiny little town of about 80 people, and I sort of wonder if Fred Sanchez, candidate nobody can own, won that election that time. But it really, really energised it. It was fantastic to watch how engaged in their community, even at the very micro level, they were. Point being, if you like, isolation is death. Now this here, lovely view, is beautiful sunrise in Borneo jungle. Gorgeous little bit of Saba, not yet uh, destroyed. I'll come back to that in a minute. We live it as we heard before in an age of rapid technological change, and the pace of change is increasing rapidly. We're at a point where AI threatens our jobs and so on. So, the idea is all the good things come from an ecosystem, that come through connections. Your ecosystem is a web of support and information. You're certainly going to need them for the future, but here's the challenge. Step outside of that comfort zone, because otherwise, that's what happens to a palm tree, palm oil growth when it's all done. It withers. You need to nurture the environment you live within, the professional ecosystem that you have. You have to clearly show up. You have to bring your own insights and invigorate these ecosystems that you work in. Take a risk. Reach out to the other. Engage with these ideas that perhaps you're not comfortable on, because the shores night follows day, those information, those insights will inform your own profession, your own career, your own life. You're definitely going to need each other in the future. So my friends, as always, as the great man once said, life belongs. Oh, so that definitely works. Thank <laughs> you on time. Get out there and live long and prosper. Thank you both. Thank you.